Okay, so we've got some breaking news about a Russian billionaire who appealed against sanctions placed on him by the UK government in court. The Russian billionaire, who is an ally of Roman Abramovich, lost his attempt at London's High Court on Friday to overturn British sanctions against him after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, the oil tycoon Eugene Schwidler, whose net worth is estimated by Forbes magazine to be about $1.6 billion, was sanctioned last March uh, 2022 on the grounds of his association with the former Chelsea football club owner, uh, Roman Abramovich. Now, his super yacht, Le Grand Bleu, was once owned by Mr. Abramovich, and the story circulated uh, at the time uh, that Abramovich lost the yacht to him in a bet. Uh, however, Abramovich sued a newspaper in the UK and won that story in court because he said it wasn't true. Um, there have been a number of legal challenges against the UK government by Russians who say that they've been treated unfairly. In another case, the owner of Moti Yacht Fee lost his case recently and uh, he hasn't even been placed on any sanctions. Uh, I'll place a link up here in case you haven't seen that video yet. But, um, you know, the fact that he lost his case and he's not even on the sanctions list means that this case really, I think, was dead in the water. Now, uh, Schwidler's yacht, uh, Le Grand Bleu, has been laid up in, in Ponce in Puerto Rico since last year. The vessel is not seized as far as we know, um, but it, it, I think it's just his inability to use that, that uh, vessel because many of his assets have been frozen. Um, also, his two private jets were seized in the UK. Now, according to Reuters, the UK has sanctioned approximately 1,600 people following the invasion of Ukraine and frozen more than 18 billion pounds, which is about $23 billion in assets. Now, Bromovich is one of those who's been sanctioned and is challenging uh, sanctions imposed by the EU against him, according to Reuters. Now, Schwidler is a UK and a US citizen, but was nevertheless sanctioned by the UK in March last year, as I already mentioned. Uh, after the High Court's decision, to reject the appeal, his lawyer Michael O'Kane said that the oil tycoon would seek to appeal at the earliest opportunity. He said he's never been a citizen of Russia, has not visited Russia for more than 15 years, and has been critical of the Russian government's actions in Ukraine, O'Kane said in a statement. He remains at a loss to know what else he can do to be delisted given the absence of UK government engagement, policy, or guidance. If this judgment stands, it will make it virtually impossible for any person by the Foreign Secretary to bring a successful court challenge. As we mentioned, uh, the, the owner of Moti Yacht Fee is not even on the sanctions list, and yet the court agreed with the UK government that his vessel could be frozen in place in Canary Wharf. Schwidler's lawyers said in court that he had no relationship with Putin, he had no involvement in Russian politics, and the last time he was in Russia was in 2007 for the funeral of Boris Yeltsin. He also said that the sanctions had destroyed his ability to conduct business and deal with his assets, which, like I said, probably explains why his yacht is sat in Puerto Rico uh, since last year with a minimum crew on board and the vessel's not going anywhere. Now, in the judge's ruling, he said, in my view, whilst the effects of designation are serious, and the claimant and his family have been subjected to enormous inconvenience and no little financial loss, they do not threaten his life or liberty. The effects of designation are temporary and reversible, not fixed and permanent. The claimant is not permanently deprived of his property, he is simply deprived of the use of that property for the period it is necessary to maintain the sanctions. So there we have it. That is the breaking news. Um, Mr. Eugene Schwidler has lost his case in the UK courts against the sanctions placed against him. And as, as the lawyer has said that represents him, they will appeal that. So we will bring you updates on that story if and when that happens. Hi, thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.